Hello students, so today I am going to discuss the zoology questions of NEET 2023, code is E2, paper code is E2, so let us begin. First question, that is question number 102, in gene gun method used to introduce alien DNA into host cells, the microparticles of dash metals are used. So we know that the inert metals we are using that is tungsten and gold particles. So these tungsten and gold particles are coated with the desired DNA which is being bombarded onto the target cells. So answer will be third one. Next, upon exposure to UV radiation, the DNA stained with ethidium bromide will show. So generally in gel electrophoresis, whatever the DNA band we are getting, the DNA bands are being stained by ethidium bromide. Okay. So this ethidium bromide will bind to the AT base pairs, okay, and this staining we cannot see through our naked eye. But when they are exposed to the UV radiation, then this band, DNA band, which is attached to ethidium bromide, it will glow and it will give the bright orange color. It will be bright orange color. So it is a direct question, answer is 4. Next, during the purification process for recombinant DNA technology, addition of chilled ethanol precipitate. See, chilled ethanol when we will add, it will precipitate the nucleic acid, DNA and RNA, right? But in the question, they have asked recombinant DNA technology, so we should go with DNA, okay? So it is also a direct question, the answer will be 2. Next. Cellulose does not form blue color with iodine. We know that starch gives blue-black color with iodine. Why? Because starch is having two components, that is amylose and amylopectin. Okay. So amylose is what? It is a helical structure. So in the helix, what happens? They will trap iodine molecules. So that is why what happens? Starch will give the blue-black coloration. But if you see the cellulose, cellulose is a straight chain of glucose. They don't have any helix-like structure where the iodine molecules can be trapped, right? So, the option 3 will be the appropriate answer here. It does not contain complex helices and hence cannot hold iodine molecule. So, answer will be 3. Next, the main step in the formation of recombinant DNA are given below. Arrange this step in a correct sequence. Now, see here. This is a cell, okay. In this cell, this is the DNA, and in this DNA, this is the desired gene. Say, for example, it codes for a protein X, okay. So, what we want? We want to insert this DNA into a host. This is a host. So, first, what we need to do? First, we need to isolate the entire DNA, isolated. Okay, then what happen? By using restriction endonuclease, we will cut the desired gene. Then this desired gene, we need to amplify. Okay, and then we have to insert, right? So first one is what? Isolation of DNA. But here you can see, they are given isolation of desired DNA fragments. It is not isolation of the whole DNA they are talking about. Okay, then... That means the first step they have not mentioned, that is isolation of the entire DNA. After that what happened? By using restriction enzyme we need to cut. So cutting of DNA at specific location, so this should be the step number one. After that what happened? This DNA fragment will be isolated. Then C should be your two. Then we need to amplify this gene, right, by using PCR. So this should be three and then this DNA fragment will be inserted into the target or host cell. So this should be 4. So answer should be B, C, D, A. B, C, D, A. Answer should be first one. Next, melonate inhibits the growth of pathogenic bacteria by inhibiting the activity of C. This is a direct question of competitive inhibition that is succinic dehydrogenase. Malonate is what? Is a competitive inhibitor 
of succinic dehydrogenase because the substrate this is the enzyme right and who is the substrate substrate is the succinate right this is the substrate so when the substrate will bind to the active site of the succinic dehydrogenase we will get the product but here what happened but here if malonate is present malonate resemble the substrate succinate so it will compete with the succinate to get the active site of the succinic dehydrogenase okay so here answer will be one next which of the following is not a cloning vector so here also it is a direct question you can see probe probe is what it is a short sequence of the nucleic acid right so whereas bacterial artificial chromosome yeast artificial chromosome and pvr 322 they all are cloning vector okay so answer is fourth one next match list one with list two tenia solium it is a flatworm and list two is the excretory structures they are giving so we know that tenia solium should be the flame cell and paramecium contractile vacuole act as the excretory structure so one a is three b is two a three b two answer is third one okay and periplaneta periplaneta means what this is your cockroach that is uricose gland and ferretima nephridia these are the excretory structure next this is assassination type amniocentesis for sex determination is one of the strategy of reproductive and child healthcare program see amniocentesis is not for sex determination program so assassination is wrong ban on amniocentesis check increasing mens of female feticide this is correct so assassination is correct sorry assassin is wrong reason is correct a is wrong r is true answer should be fourth one next is a statement based question ligament are dense irregular tissue it is not dense irregular they are dense regular right dense irregular is there in your skin cartilage bone and cartilage are specialized connective tissue they are not dense regular So, both the statements are false. Answer is 2. Next, match the column again. So, here QRS complex seems to be easy. QRS complex is the depolarization of the ventricle. QRS complex depolarization of ventricle. C should be 4. First one. P is depolarization of the atria. You can see this is the P wave. This is QRS and this is T, right? So, this is P wave. P wave is what? It is depolarization of the atria, depolarization of ventricle and repolarization of ventricle, okay? And Q wave is what? If I am talking about only Q wave, this is QRS, QRS complex. Only Q wave is what? It is beginning of systole next again match the column peptic cell goblet cell oxyntic cell oxyntic cell should be fourth one hcl an intrinsic factor for absorption of vitamin b12 so c should be four third one peptic cell peptic cell is also called as chief cell that produce the proenzyme pepsinogen goblet cell you know that secrete mucus and hepatic cells produce bile juice so answer should be three next list one vasectomy vasectomy is what is the surgical procedure of sterilization okay vasectomy is the surgical method coitus interruptus is a natural method of contraception cervical caps is a barrier method 
सहेली इज ओरल कंट्रासेप्टिव सुफेसेक्टोमी ए सर्जिकल मेथड ए शुड बी थ्री ए शुड बी थ्री क्वाइटस इंटरप्टस बी शुड बी फोर आंसर इज सेकेंड वन नेक्स्ट दिस इज अगेंड स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वास्ट डिफरेंस रिसीव ए डक फ्रॉम सेमिनल वेसिकल एंड ओपन इन टू यूरेथ्रा एज इजैकुलेटेड ड्रग ट्रू सो वास्ट डिफरेंस विल कम फ्रॉम द टेस्टिस and it will join the duct of the seminal vesicle together they form ejaculatory duct and this ejaculatory duct opens to prostatic urethra the statement is true the cavity of the cervix is called as cervical canal along with the vaginal canal it is called as birth canal so this statement is also true so both the statements are true answer is 1 next nephrons are of two types cortical and juxtamedullary nephron yes based on what based on their relative position right cortical nephron they are present in the cortex region whereas juxtamedullary nephron partly present in cortex and partly present in the medulla so based on their relative position in the cortex and medulla this statement is correct juxtamedullary nephron have short loop of henle Juxta medullary nephron or what they are having long loop of Henle that goes deep into the medullary part, whereas cortical nephron they are having uh, loop of Henle which is greatly reduced, right? So reason is false. A is correct, R is wrong. Third one. Next, again is a statement based question. Low temperature preserve. the enzyme in a temporarily inactive state whereas high temperature destroy enzymatic activity because protein are denatured the statement is true that is the reason why what happened we can keep the food materials or vegetables fresh for a longer time inside a refrigerator because in low temperature the enzymatic enzymatic activity will be less okay so microbial growth also will be less and the longevity of the cells also will be increased whereas in high temperature what happened the heat will destroy the enzymes enzymes are protein in nature right so statement is correct statement 2 when the inhibitor closely resemble the substrate in its molecular structure and inhibit the activity of the enzyme it is known as competitive inhibitor just now we have seen one example also right so here what happened what they are saying the substrate this is an enzyme the enzyme is having an active site right so to the active side what happened the substrate will bind but if a molecule which resembles substrate then what happened it also compete with the substrate to get the active site right but as it is not the substrate it will not get the product right so this inhibition is called as competitive inhibition so this statement is also correct so both the statement 1 and 2 are true answer is 1 next again match the column here you can see malaria is plasmodium vivax c should be 4 two option okay uh, filaria ucereria bancrofti b is 3 pneumonia hemophilus influenzae D is one. D is one. Answer is one. Okay, A is two. Ring one, try to fight on. Next, morphine. Morphine is a painkiller, right? Is an opioid, and it is a potent painkiller. D should be three. heroin slows down the body function is a sedative right marijuana effect on cardiovascular system is a cannabinoid and cocaine interfere with the transport of dopamine radial symmetry is not found in the adult of which phylum not larval stage adult of which phylum that is hemicotata balanoglossus tongue worm okay so 
Echinodermata is having what? Pentaradial symmetry. Their larvae are having bilateral symmetry, right? But adult are what? They are pentaradial, okay? Even cylindrata and tinophora are what? They are also having radial symmetry. So, answer should be hemicotata. Next, which of the following statement are correct regarding female reproductive cycle, okay? Menstrual cycle, it is asking about. In non-primate mammals, cyclic changes during reproduction are called as estrous cycle. Very much true. They don't have menstrual cycle. Okay. Menstrual cycle is present only in the primate. Okay. Primate female. First menstrual cycle begins at puberty and is called as a menarche, not menopause. Okay. Lack of menstruation may be indicative of pregnancy. Yes, may be. True. Cyclic menstruation extend between menarch and menopause. Yes, beginning of the menstrual cycle is menarch and end is called as menopause. During that period, what happened? We can see the cyclic menstrual cycle. Okay. Cyclic event of ovarian cycle as well as uterine cycle. So, this is also true. So, A true, C two true, A, C, D. Answer is 4. Next. Select the correct group of set of Australian marsupial exhibiting adaptive radiation. Australian marsupial. Okay. So, bobcat is a placental. Numbat, spotted cuscus, flying phalanger. Yes. Seems to be true. Let us see the others. Mole. No. Lemur. Wolf. No. So, answer is second one. Numbat. Spotted cuscus, flying phalanger. These are Australian marsupials. Next, which one of the following technique does not serve the purpose of early diagnosis of a disease for its treatment? Early diagnosis. It is not diagnosis. Early diagnosis. Early diagnosis means within few days of infection, we will come to know. Yes, you are suffering from this disease. That means either that time the expression of the pathogenic gene will be very less or almost nil. Okay. So, in that case, we cannot use serum and urine analysis because serum and urine analysis can be done only when the pathogenic protein will be properly expressed. Okay. Or due to this pathogenic protein, we used to produce abnormal protein in large quantity. Then only we can use serum and urine analysis. So, this serum and urine analysis can be done in the later stage, but not in early stage. So, early stage, recombinant DNA technology, polymerase chain reaction and ELISA also. So, answer is second one. Next, match the column, fibrous joint between the flat skull bone, immovable joint, fibrous joint. C should be one. Only one choice. Cartilaginous joint, between the adjacent vertebrae of the vertebral column, partially movable that is, ball and socket we know that between the humerus and pectoral girdle and saddle joint between carpal and metacarpal of thumb. So, answer is 2. Vital capacity of the lungs. Vital capacity, if you will see the lungs, this is residual volume, right? Residual volume. This is tidal volume that in normal expiration and inspiration only this much amount of air will be going in and out. Okay. Then this is your inspiratory reserve volume and this is your expiratory reserve volume. Right. So this is your TLC, total lung capacity. So what is vital capacity? Vital capacity of the lungs means the volume of the lungs that actively take part during your breathing cycle, right? Where RV, residual volume what? They always stay in your lungs even after a forceful expiration. That means this part is your what? VC. TV plus IRV plus ERV. TV, IRV, ERV, TV. Fourth one. Don't go for this. If I will write here TLC minus RV, that is correct. Okay. So that is why here answer will be fourth one. Next, again match the column, 
phobia phobia centralis okay which is exactly present opposite to your lens okay where visual acuity will be greatest because it is packed with what cones so a should be third only one choice iris is visible colored portion of the eye that regulate the diameter of the pupil okay blind spot blind spot is point where optic nerve leaves the eyeball so that is why if any image is created on the blind spot we cannot see it okay and sclera sclera is what external layer of the eye formed of dense connective tissue so answer is one next once the undigested and unabsorbed substance entered into the cecum their backflow is prevented by see this is your large intestine this is your small intestine okay and here you will be having a valve right this valve prevent the backflow this is your ileum and this is the cecum right so this valve is called as what ileocecal valve so this ileocecal valve prevent the backflow once the undigested food material will enter into the large intestine they are prevented to flow back prevented to flow back by this valve that is called as ileocecal valve so answer should be second one next which one of the following common sexually transmitted disease is completely curable when it is detected and treated properly uh, detected early and treated properly genital herpes hepatitis and hiv you know that these three are the viral infection and we know that viral stds cannot be cured right so the answer is second one because it is caused by what nigeria gonorrhea the bacteria okay so that is why if it is detected early and treated properly it can be completely curable but these three are not okay statement one a protein is imagined as a straight line the left end represented by first amino acid okay so here what happened this is your chiral carbon here is your nh2 here it will be coh this is r group h group right so if a new amino acid i'll add then what happened here one new amino acid will be added and here peptide bond will be formed right so in like this if i'll grow the polypeptide chain on the left hand side i can find the amino group always and on my right hand side i'll find carboxylic group always so that is why left side is always called as n terminal right side is called as c terminal but here they have given left is C terminal left is which terminal n terminal so statement one is wrong adult human hemoglobin consists of four subunit two subunit alpha type yes that is true hemoglobin is containing what hem plus globin so globin is made up of two alpha chain and two beta chain that is true so one is wrong statement one is false statement two is wrong uh, correct true fourth one next in which blood corpuscles the hiv undergo replication and produce progeny viruses that is macrophage first it will come to your mind right but macrophage is not there in your choice so you have to go with th cells the difference is what the virus will multiply inside the macrophage and leave the macrophage without killing it right but when they infect the th cells same they will multiply inside the th cell and they will leave the th cell by killing them okay so answer is here th cell first one again an assertion is a question endometrium is necessary for implantation of blastocyst true very much because endometrium is a layer where the blastocyst is getting embedded okay and this process is called as implantation reason in the absence of fertilization the corpus luteum degenerates that cause disintegration of endometrium true 
that is also true but here what happened it is not explaining why endometrium is necessary for implantation of blastocyst okay so both the statements are correct but it is not the correct explanation both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a second one next match the column okay uh, here anf atrial natriuretic factor which is produced from the heart wall so i will go c is 2 and how many c is 2 only one option is there c is 2 cck cck is what cholecystokinin cholecystokinin is secreted from cck pz cholecystokinin and uh, pancreozymin it is produced from the duodenum and act on pancreas okay target organ similarly gip gastric inhibitory peptide that inhibit gastric gland and adh antidiuretic hormone that act on kidney kidney tubule collecting duct so answer is one next the unique mammalian characteristic unique mammalian characteristics okay here yes tympanic membrane tympanic membrane is present in amphibian also here pinna mammary gland yes indirect development it is not they are only in mammals okay indirect develop we are having what direct development there is no larval stage is mammals so it is not applicable pinna monocolon our skull is what dicondylic okay so answer will be second one here pinna and mammary gland which of the following statements are correct basophils are most abundant cells of the total wbc this is neutrophil not basophil basophil secrete histamine serotonin heparin yes true Basophils are involved in inflammatory response, yes, because of histamine and serotonin. Basophil is granulocyte, agranulocyte. Agranulocyte means inside the cytoplasm, you cannot see the granules. They are lymphocyte and monocytes, right? So, lymphocyte and monocytes are agranulocytes. Basophils are granulocytes. So, this is wrong. B and C. Third one. Select the correct statement with reference to caudates, okay? Presence of mid dorsal solid and double vent nerve cord. We are having single nerve cord, right? Presence of closed circulatory system, true. Presence of paired pharyngeal gill slits, yes, true. At least in the embryonic condition. Presence of ventral heart, okay, not dorsal heart, ventral heart. Triploblastic and ucilomate, not pseudocilomate. So, B and C. Second one. Next, which of the following are not under the control of thyroid hormone? Okay. Maintenance of water and electrolyte balance. Yes. Regulation of basal metabolic rate. Yes. Normal rhythm of sleep wake cycle, that is melatonin. Development of immune system that is thymosin, thymus gland, not thyroid. Support the process of RBC formation. Yes. So, C and D. Third one. Next, in cockroach, excretion is brought about by. Okay. Excretion is brought about by nephrocyte. Yes. Collateral gland, they form the cocoon. Fat body, yes. Uricose gland, yes. In males, not in females, right? But they have not mentioned male, female. In cockroach. In cockroach means B, C and D. Third one. The part of human brain that helps in regulation of sexual behavior, expression of excitement, pleasure, rage, fear, etc. That is what? Our limbic system. Limbic system and Hypothalamus is a direct question. Next, blood. Blood is a specialized 
कनेक्टिव टिश्यू मास्ट सेल इज प्रेजेंट इन एरियोलर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इनर सरफेस ऑफ द ब्रोंकिओल ए सिलियटेड एपिथेलियम सो ए इज टू बी इज वन थर्ड वन ओके नेक्स्ट हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट An excessive loss of body fluid from the body switch off osmo receptor. No, they should not be switched off because you are lo losing excessive body fluid. ADH facilitate water absorption to prevent diuresis. True. ANF causes vasodilation. Yes, ANF actually decrease your blood pressure by causing vasodilation. ADH causes increase in blood pressure that is also true because ADH helps in absorption of water from the kidney tubules so it will increase the blood volume so when the blood volume increases blood pressure also increases ADH is responsible for decrease in GFR no GFR will increase so correct one is B C and D B C and D second one next which of the following is not an advantage of inbreeding okay it decreases homozygosity see in inbreeding what happened homozygosity always increases so this statement itself is wrong it is not applicable so you are not supposed to see uh, this uh, this should not, should be a disadvantage no we cannot call it as a disadvantage because it is not applicable only okay because during inbreeding homozygosity never decreases so we have to rule out this statement Second, it exposes harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by selection. That is a good thing. So, it is not a disadvantage. It is an advantage. We have to select which is not an advantage. That means which is a disadvantage. So, it is not. Elimination of less desirable gene and accumulation of superior gene takes place due to it. That is also true. And what happened? This is not a disadvantage. It is an advantage only. So, we have to rule out this one. It decreases the productivity of inbred population after continuous inbreeding. This statement is what is nothing but inbreeding depression, right? And inbreeding depression is considered as what are the disadvantage of inbreeding, right? So, answer will be fourth one. Next, which of the following is the characteristic feature of cockroach regarding sexual dimorphism? In sexual dimorphism, externally how we can distinguish male and female cockroach by the presence or absence of what? Anal style. Because anal sarsai is present in both male and female, but anal style is present only in male. So, presence of anal style. Second one. Next, which of the following statements are correct regarding skeletal muscles? The muscles bundles are held together by collagen connective tissue layer, true, called as fascia not fascicle fascicle is the muscles bundle itself it is called as fascia so it is wrong sarcoplasmic reticulum of muscles fiber is a storehouse of calcium ion true the striated appearance of skeletal muscles fiber is due to the distribution pattern of actin and myosin protein that is also true the m line is considered as the functional unit of contraction of contraction called sarcomere no is what the distance between the two z line is sarcomere so it is also wrong so answer is second one okay so these are the questions from zoology section thank you